pets. There are many different animals that you can have for pets. The most common pets are cats and dogs. I think the second most common pets are birds and fish. You can hug a cat or a dog. You can play with a cat or a dog, but it is difficult to play with a bird or a fish. Some birds are very smart, and they can be taught to do things. Parrots are very clever. Some of them even talk. Birds usually stay in bird cages. Fish have to stay in the water in a tank or a fish bowl. Some people have gerbils or guinea pigs as pets. There are even people who have ferrets as pets. I have a friend who has a lizard for a pet. She has to buy live crickets for her lizard to eat. Another friend of mine has a pet snake. I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. There are different types of dogs. Some dogs are very big and some are small. A Labrador Retriever is a big dog. A poodle is usually a small dog, although there are some large poodles. Some dogs are noisy and they bark a lot. Other dogs are quiet and obedient. I once had a dog. It was a cocker spaniel. I used to take it for walks. There are different types of cats too. My favorite type of cat is a Siamese cat. Siamese cats have blue eyes. My mother had a Persian cat. It was very furry. My mother said that it used to shed fur all over the house. Pets are a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work too. To be a good pet owner, you have to be very responsible. My first pet. My name is Sarah. I am 14 years old. I have a pet cat. My cat's name is Milo. My cat is black and white. Milo's paws are white. Milo's body is black. She is very cute. Milo's fur is very soft. Milo was a very small kitten. Milo is a very big cat. Milo cannot have kittens. She is fixed. Milo likes to eat. Milo likes to play outside. Milo likes to hunt for birds. Milo likes to hunt for mice. She likes her ears scratched. Milo likes to sit in my lap. Milo likes to sleep on my bed. Milo is a good pet. My cat. I got my cat when she was just a tiny kitten. I named her Puff because her fur is soft and fluffy. She has white fur, but her tail, paws, and ears are black. She has a little pink nose and yellow eyes. She says meow whenever she wants a bowl of milk. I feed her cat food and treats. She washes her face with her paw when she is finished eating. My whole family loves her, and we can tell that she loves us. She loves to curl up in our laps. She purrs whenever we pet her. She is very playful. We sometimes roll up a piece of paper and throw it to her. She loves to chase the paper and hit it with her paws. She also chases bugs. Last night she chased a spider, but she was afraid to touch it. At night she curls up in my bed with me. She likes to be warm. I have given her a blanket of her own, but when I put her on it, her tail twitches. Her tail twitches whenever she's upset or angry. I know she doesn't want to be on her blanket. She wants to be in my bed. I let her into my bed, and she falls asleep, purring loudly. The pet store. On Saturday, my parents took us to the pet store. They had everything that you would need if you had a pet. They had dog food, collars, and leashes for dogs. They had treats to give your dog and brushes to brush your dog. For cats, they had food, 
toys, and litter boxes. For birds, they had seed and cages. There was a section for fish. They had fish in big tanks and little bowls. In the big tanks, there were colorful fish swimming around. The girl who worked there said that they were tropical fish. There were goldfish in the smaller fish bowls. I saw the girl get a goldfish out with a little net. She sold it to a boy who said he had another goldfish at home. There was a very large cage with a parrot in it. I walked up to the cage and the parrot said hello. I was surprised that the parrot could talk. It could say a few things. It said, I love you, pretty bird, and bye bye. I told my mother that I would like a parrot, but she said that parrots need a lot of care and attention. At the back of the store, there were some puppies. They seemed glad to see me. I stuck my hand into the cage and one of them licked my hand. They were very lively. They were running around and chasing their own tails. In the next cage, there were two kittens. One of them was playing with a toy, and the other one was asleep. The kittens were very small. The one that was sleeping was curled up into a ball. I couldn't even see her face. I didn't want to leave the pet store. I was wishing that I could take all of the animals home with me.